This is the second uh, video showing normal oil pressure on a 6.5 turbo diesel GM engine. This particular one is a, in a 1999 Suburban. It has 337,270 kilometers on it, which is basically 200,000 miles in the States, roughly off the top of my head. Anyways, this is engine is running, it's idling. Let's try to get that glare off it. Okay. It's warmed up. There's my oil pressure. Now the engine in my tow truck, which is a 1997 with a 6.5 turbo diesel, was just rebuilt. It has only 500 kilometers on it, which is about 300 miles. And at this engine temperature, its gauge is at zero, even though it starts cold at 275 kilopascals or about 45 psi or whatever that works out to. Okay, I'm going to start revving this truck up and down. Notice is only a marginal swing of that oil pressure gauge, and it still settles in about that range. Whereas my tow truck will go from zero, possibly to a quarter when it's at this temperature, and back down to zero as soon as it returns to idle, like a basketball, up and down. Okay, this one's running. Let's go back over. To the truck beside me here it's running also it's also a 6.5 turbo diesel it's a few years older it has 260 260,000 kilometers so sorry that's 200 I'm not sure what that is in the about yeah around 190,000 miles I guess anyways let's go have a look a very abused truck that arrived at my shop this morning with three liters down in oil we did an oil change anyways engine temperature is as high as he wants to get there's my oil pressure mileage let's start revving it up that's normal these this engine actually has more oil pressure seemingly than my uh, suburban And it settles there. That's good oil pressure. I'll be about 30 psi right there at idle. So there's definitely a problem with my tow truck engine that was just rebuilt. It has 6 psi at idle when the engine's hot, using the identical oil that's in this truck and in this truck. <laughs> 